Hello, today I will show you how to create or update inventory items with Blitz Report. So the inventory item upload is explained in the upload section on our web page. So if you go to the inventory item upload, you find the short description of what you can do with it. You can, for example, create uh, inventory items from an item template, or you can create items from an existing item in the same organization or you can also assign items to additional organizations from the master. And you can also use the item upload to assign items to categories and so on. So let me show you how that works. So you would in open a Blitz report form, and then you choose the item upload. And in here you have default templates. So we have prepared some templates for the different functional areas because the inventory items, they have many, many attributes. So if you open one of these uh, templates or if you take it out and you look at the template, you see there's a lot of columns. So 310 different columns that can be updated. And to make it easier for the users, we have prepared these different uh, templates, for example, purchasing and receiving. And you can also create your own templates, very similar to Blitz Report. You can create your own templates and define which columns you would like to see and in which order and so on. So every user can do that. Okay, so let's first create a new item. So here you have for these uploads, you typically have an upload mode, and then you can decide what you would like to do. You can either create items. If you choose create, then it would open an empty Excel sheet in which you can start entering the data. And then you can also choose create or update. And then you can query existing data or also create new records at the same time. And here in this inventory item upload, we also have an update only mode that is to prevent users from accidentally creating new items. So let's choose the create mode and the master organization is V1. So let's first open the Excel sheet. So here you see it's running. So then it opens an Excel file which is macro enabled. And we have the yellow columns are the required fields and the gray columns are optional. So let's create a new item. Let's say uh, test item nine. And we want to create it first in the master and we need a description. Test item nine description like this. And then we would also like to create the item in the M1 organization as well. And this should be assigned from the master org like this. Okay, let's see if we have all the required fields. You can save it and then upload. So now I'm uploading the file. And once it's uploaded, it starts processing. So here you see on the second button, you see the status of the concurrent request. So it shows running. And uh, basically the uploaded file is now processed into the open interface table. And then the open interface process runs. And once that is completed, it starts, it opens an Excel file again, showing the result. So this is the result successfully created. So we would find our item now in the organization V1 and M1. So let's have a look how that looks like. Close the form, open the master items and search for that item. So here is our item and it is assigned to the M1 organization as well. So that is the creation of a new item. But one of the benefits of Blitz report is that you can also easily update existing items. So let's assume we would not like to create, we would like to update items or we can keep the create or update mode. It can do both. And then we would like to, if we want to update a big number of items, we better choose a bigger number of parallel workers because we can run the update in parallel. Let's assume we would like to update all the default buyers for the organization V1, which is the master org. So we would like to update everything, all the items where the buyer is Mr. Richard Fox to someone else. So we can first query all the items.
which is all these. So it's around 2000 records. And now where's the buyer column? Here's the default buyer. Let's assume we would like to update it to someone else, Mr. Karl Blomberg. So we can update the items then save the file and we would upload the whole file to the server like this. And now it's slightly bigger and the processing first uh, takes the data for out from the Excel file and then it breaks it up into 10 par parallel batches, which we have defined here. And then it will run the open interface process from Oracle in parallel 10 times. And then at the end, once the last uh, parallel batch run is completed, it shows the output file. So here you see the status is running so let's see, now it's opening the output file or the result file and it shows success. So if we now look at any of these items, we should see that the buyer is updated to Karl Blomberg. Let me look at the items and query one of those, let's say this one and yeah, here's our updated default buyer. So that's the inventory item upload in Blitz reports. Thanks for watching.